All right, we are live with Quick Tip Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m., giving you a quick, quick real estate tip. Uh, and today's topic is not a sexy topic. It's not a, not something a lot of people want to discuss. Um, today's topic is pest control. It's a very important topic, very important. It's much needed in your properties. Pest control. So no one really want, likes talking about pest control. It needs to be done. So a lot of people ask me, is it the landlord's responsibility? I would say check your state laws uh, in New Jersey. Yes, it is. So you have to take care of it. But basically what I have in my lease, which is the law, uh, when a tenant first moves in, if there's any issues with uh, pest control, I usually send my exterminator out there. But just monitor it, please. A lot of tenants, well, not the cleanest, uh, they don't follow rules. So just make sure you have all that under control. So I have a lot of uh, good tips to have it under control. So one is exterminate regularly. So actually with my exterminator, if you, the more you use them, if you have like a frequency on, you can actually get a better rate because you're using them not a one off. So you could get a better rate by using them regularly. So that's one way to control the pus. Get exterminated, get an exterminator. You can also see, look at your property, go outside, go around, see any access points, uh, try to close them off. There's a lot of holes. The smaller holes, you can definitely just caulk them up. It's a DIY project, definitely. If you're not a handy person, you want to pay someone, you can definitely pay someone. But you can caulk a lot of the areas for there's no entry and no exiting as well. If there's a bigger hole, of course, a caulking won't work. You would have to actually plaster and uh, get down and dirty with that. Make sure you caulk in the areas for that. That that can help with the with the pests. Uh, make sure your common areas are clean. So you can't control what's going on within inside the tenant's house, but you can control the common areas. So make sure that's always clean. Uh, in my rules, in my lease, I usually have uh, they cannot put anything in the hallways, uh, no belongings or anything like that because that can be a little hiding spot for them and they can grow like nests and different things like that. So you don't you want to make sure those common areas are clean, basin is clean, everything is clean so you don't want any issues, long-term issues. Uh, another good tip is on the outside. Make sure you have proper trash bins uh, and recycling bins and make sure they're not touching near the house. Make sure they're away by the gate or by somewhere else because if you have them by the house itself, the rodents can get attract, will attract the garbage. And if they're right next to the house, next step is going into the house and they will find their way in so it's best to keep them away, make sure they have the proper lids, make sure you have good size bins, good strong bins and good strong tops. Cause yeah, they, if they would try to get in, they can, will get in. So you need some strong bins. Uh, the next good tip for pests is Remove clutter outside. So if you have a lot of, maybe if uh, you have a lot of garbage or you just moved in, you have a lot of boxes outside, that's understandable. That's uh, for the next garbage pickup, that's fine. But over time, make sure the outside is clean. Uh, the tenants not leaving rugs outside. The tenants are not leaving anything big outside. That's where the pests can hide and get comfortable. And you don't want them comfortable because next stop is inside the house. So make sure you clear any garbage or keep, keep, keep the outside clean. The next tip is eliminate any standing water. 
So that can be an issue for roaches. So basically, you don't want them breeding. You don't want, if there's any puddles, anything like that, make sure there's uh, and none of that in your around your house because that would be an issue because they, they would attract to the water. So make sure you don't have any standing water around your home because that can increase the pests closer to your house and you want them to keep them far away as possible. You don't want any pests in your house. Pests are horrible. Especially, you're gonna get a lot of calls from your tenants if the more and more pests, because different times throughout the year, uh, like the coldest seasons, usually pests can, mice and things can go inside looking for warm, for, for warmth, for uh, heat. Uh, and also, it's a two person job. You can't do all the work yourself. You need to make sure your tenants is on the same page. So make sure there's on your leases to have them stay clean. Uh, just have open communication with them. If they see anything, they can take care of it right away. Uh, make sure you take care of things right away. If you have holes, you see mice growing or take care of it right away. I know we're busy. We're in a busy world right now. We're always busy. A lot of things moving. Just make sure you're taking care of what you have to take care of. Because if you don't, it will get worse. Trust me. Trust me on that one. Uh, make sure you have add all those rules to the lease. Because uh, I had tenants in the past where it wasn't, uh, it was their issue. So basically, they, we had a uh, pest issue because of the tenants. They weren't clean. Uh, they weren't in cleaning up after themselves. So usually what I do with my exterminators, I usually keep that in the lease as well with my exterminator. I give them a reminder because hearing from another person uh, is always good. So make sure you're communicating that. They have to do their job for you can help them. You can't help them without them helping themselves. So they got to make sure it's clean, uh, no leaving no food outside, anything like that. So if not, you're just going to be paying for exterminator, exterminator after exterminator because the issue is not going to get resolved until they clean up. And you should always set money aside for pest control. State of New Jersey, by law, the landlord is needs to keep that under control because it can get bad. And when there's children involved and other things involved, so just make sure you're keeping the pests under control. So that's my quick tip Tuesday. For this Tuesday, I'm going to open it up to some questions. Anyone has any questions on pest control is within your primary residence or an investment property. That's not that's what I'm really talking about when you're dealing with tenants. But will my pet's food also attract pests? So basically, if you have pet food, just make sure you're closing it up after. You don't want to leave it open because any food will definitely uh, attract pets if you leave it outside because the, the, the smell of it can definitely attract pests. Just make sure, and also if uh, for bugs and things like that, if you open up the window, make sure you have the the guards up, guards down, the mosquito nets. Make sure you have that down. You don't want bugs flying in there because give it a little access, they would uh, swarm in. Should I get one of those seal tight storage bins for the cat food? That's a good idea, definitely. Get anything protect to protect your food and things like that. Uh, where the odor doesn't odor doesn't get out typically. Keep it in the to keep it under control. If you already had an issue, uh, I would definitely get an exterminator to take care of the issue before you go out buying things because. It's a possibility if you go out buying things, if you already have a pest control issue, that they would still find a way inside. Uh, depending on what type of pests you have, some of them are stronger than others. And um, if they know the food is there, they have good memory and they would by any means get inside. Uh, they have some strong teeth. So uh, keep that in mind. I would take one more question before I wrap it up for this quick tip Tuesday. Like I said, it wasn't a sexy topic this week, 
But it's a very important topic because if you don't have it under control, you will get a lot of calls from your tenants. What do you do if your tenants refuse to clean up and they continue to be dirty? Oh, wow. Sorry. That's such a good, good question that I got too excited. So for that one, that's an interesting one because that's when you can actually probably get like an attorney involved or depending if they're like a Section 8 tenant, I would get their social worker involved because you can't keep... And that would be part of the lease. So if, if it's part of the lease, they're breaking the, the actual lease and they're breaking the rules. So that's grounds for eviction. I would definitely get an attorney involved or possibly start the eviction process. Um, usually, it, I'm sure they'll give them a chance to clean up and things like that. But at least hopefully that would scare them to pick up after themselves and keep the house clean. A lot of people uh, live in some weird, their standards are definitely lower. So just keep that in mind. Uh, each culture is different. Each person is different. Don't try to stress about it. Don't stress about it too much because every person is different. Um, doesn't mean that you live in a clean way. Doesn't mean that their way of clean can be totally different. So just that Reminder, reminder, uh, make sure it's in your lease, uh, possibly get an attorney involved and kick them out because if they're having the issue, it's going to go to the other tenants and then you're going to have issues with your other t clean tenants and your good clean tenants can move out. So I would definitely start the eviction process. When? eviction process opens back up since we're still in the moratorium all right i'm gonna wrap it up thank you everyone for joining once again quick tip tuesday every tuesday at 8 p.m if you're not signed up for the newsletter please sign up link is in my bio if you want to have any topics for next week just shoot me a message in my dms and i will add it to the list enjoy the rest of your tuesday everyone that was a reality check how clean people are. Yeah, I agree, buddy. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation right there. Emotions, man. You got a, a property manager is just about controlling. It's all a psychology thing. You're just uh, managing people. Any, any business is managing people, so especially property managers. So you just got to see it from another person's eyes. I know we can see it from our ways, but the more people you connect with, the more you see how different everyone is. I'm going to leave that with that tip and uh, have a great night, guys.